We've talked for a while now about media technology and data merging, so a, a lot of what's uh, under the surface of the, the shiny gadgets really affect uh, consumer behavior, which is what drives how our, our clients respond to, um, to changes in the market and how they decide how they're going to spend their money and how we advise them. So there are a few things. Uh, one big trend is in the digitization of the physical space. So uh, we've seen a lot of talk and, and uh, I guess a public launch of, of Oculus Rift coming in, in, in the beginning of 2016. But this idea, this notion that uh, physical space will be, uh, will be digitized is something that, that's quite important because um, we know that our advertisers are looking for ways to connect to consumers in any kind of environment and those environments might be virtual environments. Gaming environments are, are a good example of that. That's one. I think just the overall usage of data uh, generally is, is something that's, that's an interesting parallel with what our clients are going through now because if you think about the way a consumer uses a fitness tracker, um, the way I use a fitness tracker is I use a, a device that, that tracks specific information about the number of steps I take. Um, I use that information um, and visualize it and maybe join it up with information from other people to try and make better decisions about uh, choices that I make around, uh, uh, you know, around my health and around fitness. And it's no different than the process that our clients take. They try and get the best data possible for uh, understanding uh, the environment and, and understanding ultimately what kind of decisions they want to make. They, uh, they turn that, uh, that information into intelligence and then ultimately they empower either us or we empower them to make better decisions through that, through that data. I'm kind of unique in that I, th I like to see everything um, and you never know what kind of things you're going to see so um, I generally start with the, the kind of the big ticket items, the televisions and, uh, and phones but then move through uh, a number of the different pavilions so the innovation uh, areas also looking just at, at what the Chinese manufacturers who make adapters and uh, kind of knockoff devices of, of uh, of uh, wearables and so on, what they're doing, and finally, I always finish up with uh, Erwin Gottlieb at the at the uh, at at the professional audio and uh, high-end audio because uh, you see some interesting um, um, wireless technologies and, and content streaming technologies there. So I, I try and look for for everything because you never know what you're going to see. We can always expect more and more data, right? So more data is going to 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 come along in 2016, and and what we used to think of as these. Uh, these uh, you know, data silos are now becoming giant lakes of data and we have to go in and grab pieces of data that, that we believe are important. And the biggest change I think we'll see in 2016 are techniques that have been applied typically to, to non-media applications like physical sciences. Um, we'll see those applied in, at large scale to, uh, to media. So understanding how a physicist would look at the world um, and try and detect uh, 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 trends in, in movements and particles. It's no different than what we do now in, in sorting through these large lakes of data to try and figure out what consumers really uh, want and what they're thinking. If you look at a typical uh, FMCG or consumer uh, products good company, it used to be that they were predominantly brand advertisers. Now uh, they will not only be marketing directly, or be marketing their brand and, and increasing brand awareness, but also be selling directly to consumers. And I think that's a big change and certainly a big mindset change. Um, if you play it forward four or five years, when you have a device where you push a button and that device says, uh, order, order some more of my laundry detergent, um, you might have an algorithm, a marketing algorithm that's marketing to the algorithm of, of, the, uh, of the device itself. So, um, you know, we try and think about, uh, try and think about those kinds of things and in, 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 in plan for um, how we build out our technology stack and, and, and how we advise clients on, on what the next two or three years are going to look like. Because we can't really predict exactly what's going to happen, but we do play out a few scenarios to, to try and uh, make our odds a little better. We're trying to use the, the position we have in the market to, to make advertising and, and marketing and media much more clean and well lit because we believe that if we can prove that marketing performs better and make it perform better by eliminating fraud and uh, non-human traffic, that more dollars will flow there naturally. So um, we believe in, in, um, in making it perform better and you know if, if some believe that's, uh, that's a risk, uh, I, I would disagree with them because I believe it only brings opportunity for us.